belief of mine is that mind and body are connected. So if you're going to learn well with your mind, your body needs to be okay. And if you're sitting for an hour in the classroom, that's not conducive to really good learning because your body slows down. So what we suggest in the book from time to time are little de-stress activities where students do something simple like stand up and stretch or do something physical. Um, there are activities that get them moving around the classroom, asking each other questions. And these are all designed to get them physically active so that their mental activity is that much more powerful. Yeah. The idea that the students are very varied, the teachers are very varied actually as well. Um, the world is a very varied place. We've tried to include a lot of different things. We've deliberately gone for illustrating a variety of different kinds of people in different situations in different walks of life, yeah. So that um, it's very, very international, which I think is really, really nice. In terms of activities, there's a, there's a wide variety. There's all the things that you would expect to find that teachers love doing. And there's some new stuff as well, like, like the memory games, like the, the movement. Um, so it's a kind of lovely blend of familiar and new, I think, without being too scary. Um, it covers all the skills. It blends accuracy and fluency. It's a lovely balance, I think. In fact, balance is a good word to describe it. It's a balance of really interesting um, classroom materials, which are book-based, and a load of potentially exciting online stuff. Um, and the teacher can go either way or both ways. And there's lots of choices for a teacher. A teacher can be very traditional in using class-based stuff or they can go much more towards the other end of the continuum and explore all the lovely materials that are online. Okay. So that's, that's really nice too. Yeah.